Hello gamers, I am Mike the Zorch, and I'm here with another inspiring indies, and this is Overload by Revival Productions. And these developers are former developers who worked on the original Descent. And Descent is a game that I played the crap out of back in the MS-DOS days. Me and Tigra used to play this like crazy. What we would do is, when we were in the computer lab, we would connect two computers up via serial port. And we would do multiplayer that way. That was like serious old school multiplaying before there was an internet or before you could play online in the internet. That's how we did it. And that was the most fun we've ever had in games in a long time. And then later we had the internet and we played free space and all sorts of stuff. But this is from the original developers for the Descent games. And as you know, the Descent games are games that give you full six degrees of freedom. Um, and it's a shooter, you fight robots in underground, inside facilities and underground areas in space. The game is pretty much that. Uh, in a new package with a new engine. I believe this is running Unreal Engine. I would assume Unreal Engine 3. I think this, they didn't develop this for Unreal Engine 4, but I assume this was done with Unreal Engine 3, maybe 4, uh, I believe. But uh, let's get into this. Uh, there is a tutorial mission that I'll play through. Tutorial simulation. Uh, let's go trainee for now. Because I haven't played something like this in a long time. Okay, is it going to give us selections for different places? No. Okay. Begin simulation. Okay, I can already tell you this is very much like... Yep. This is... very much like the original... Descent. We played the... out of this. Beam. Oh! Baddies! Got one. And I got a gun. Let's see. Some missiles. Oh, bouncing off walls here. Oh. Alright. Uh let's see, are there any secrets? Oh, there are. Leave. Where is it? Hmm. Ah, here we go. Creepers. I'm not sure what those do yet. Okay. Oh, bring it back. I have to open the door. All right. There we go. Got him. Still got it. Oh, here's another one. Hmm. Cool. Okay, charging up the ship. Okay, there's different ways to go. Or is that... Or are there? Nope, nope, there aren't any other ways to go. 
So this is the only way. Okay. C to launch. Okay, that launches him. It'll lead me through this place. Is that another weapon? Okay. Can't get in there. How do I get in there? Uh, that is the exit. Is there a way to get that done? There is a way in there. Okay. Let's see. I don't see a... Oh, no. Wait a minute. Is there a way to get in there? That's where I came from. And then up. And... Get oriented because it's weird how this does it. Or oh, okay. That's where I'm looking. That's the tunnel I came up. Alright, let's backtrack. This way. This way. Okay, here we go. Alright, I'm in this room. I'm gonna come in this room. Aha! we go. Okay, I need to go back in here. Back up through here. Back through here. Into here. Here. And restricted area. Okay, this is the way I go. And I got everything. Alrighty then. So I got that. Alright, let's try a real mission here. Here, help us to Trini, of course. I am still a tutorial is one thing. Pretty seems like pretty much the same kind of story or similar story.
Hmm. Hello. You are on board the MPSV Iberia, a multi-purpose supply vessel registered to Kronos Frontier, a subsidiary of Juno Offworld Automation. My name is Mara. I am a synthetic intelligence construct. Do you remember your name? Memory loss is a symptom of cryostasis revival. The effects are temporary. We are now in orbit around the moon of Emir, approximately 22 million kilometers from Saturn. We received a distress signal from the mining facility here. This is Emir outpost, Kronos Frontier. Autonomous operators are hostile. Repeat, auto ops are hostile. We have four dead, five wounded, two missing. Please assist. An autonomous operator is a worker robot. Their safety protocols should prevent them from causing harm. Something is wrong. In accordance with the Olympus Mons Convention, we must provide assistance. You will need to enter the mine, destroy all hostile operators, locate survivors, and secure the facility. A Godachi light gunship is docked on board this vessel. According to your personnel file, you are combat qualified to operate it. Your gunship has a universal pylon interface. With the UPI, you can equip new weapons acquired in the field. Good luck. This is just like the original. Even looks similar to the ship from, from uh, Descent. All right. No options for changing anything. Okay, this is weapons. Falcon. Next. Autonomous operate. Okay, these are the robots fighting. Very similar. All right, let's do this. I am now receiving transmissions from the moons of Tarvos and Skull. This is Tarvos. Our operators are malfunctioning. Two people are dead, several injured, three missing. Skull. You know. Checking to see if there's any kind of secrets back here. Oh, yeah. Also, what malfunction is confirmed? We, we've lost five. Three missing. We're barricaded in the surveyor station. I will attempt to contact the other Kronos Frontier facilities. Okay. So far, no baddies. In the power ups, but so far, no baddies. Probably gonna change soon. Yep, here we go. Got one over here. Oh. Right. Oh. There's another one shooting at me from somewhere. Where is he? Grab that. Grab that. Alright, where are you? Oh, there he is. Thing in here. Probably open that door there. All right, it's in here. Okay, I think that re just regenerated my shield. Is there anything else in here? Any other secrets? 
if there's anything like the uh like descent there will be little well things like secret doors things like that just checking I me mean, I, I hello There's more. Where'd you come from? Something. We got a thing to access another location. Some ammo. Alright, now I need to find the door. I opened. More missiles. That's always good to have. Where's the door? Is it? Yeah. I have retrieved a message from CEO Gabriel Cantor. It was Hello. sent 22 days ago. To all Cronus Frontier employees, an attack on this colony is imminent. We must take immediate action to fortify all facilities. Every base, no matter how small, must be prepared, or everything we've built out here will be taken from us. It must be full. Oh, oh. Shot. Shields. Okay. All right. All right. Now, where do I need to go here? Um, oh wait, I that, it go this way. And there's something there in my way. Out of my way. All right, thank you. Oh, there's more in my way. This is exactly like Descent. Some more. I came in this way. This power up. Okay, go this way. And there should be a door. Oh. Whoa. Geologist. Our team is on a mirror to upgrade defenses and inspect the mines. Here we go. Oh. Okay, they went down easy. Oh no. Uh, oh, they didn't go down yet. Not yet. There we go. Whoa, where'd you come from? All right. Hello. Hey, they're sneaking up from behind me. Wait. Whoa. Where'd you guys coming from? I took out all the enemies in this area. Unless they're respawning in here. Okay.
There's more ammo. I don't have any other. Okay, that's for selecting the missile types. Oh, this is ah room for regenerating power, which I'm fully regenerated. Okay. And we need to go this way. Hello. That's the exit. Okay, so that is the... Ow, ow. Okay, that's not a doorway. Hello. Wait. Yeah, I can't get through that. That it requires access key. Huh. That doesn't open that way. That did destroy something that allows me to go through somewhere. Which means there might be another one somewhere nearby. Or is this it? Oh, it looks like it might be it. There we go. Oh. Yes, I can go through here now. This is a lot like this is more like descent two than the first descent with all the lava and everything okay. this some place I've been before I don't think so nope I haven't been here I would have picked that up. Cantor wants every base fortified against a possible attack. We're making the modifications now. Alright. The enemies? Or is this where I've been? Let's see. No, oh, I have backtracked. Yep, I did. I backtracked. All right. So this was the restricted area that I just entered. Wait, this place is complex. Let me go this way. Came through. Okay, came through over here. Or 
this brings me back to where I was. Yeah, this whole thing loops around. Alright, it looks like there is a room that I did not go to before. Uh, I should... Go back in here because that gets me closest to it. That's the exit. I can't go through that yet until after I complete the mission. Okay, there are doors here. There's this room here. But... Oh, it looks like there is something in there. some Gorgons from Phoebe. Sandor says they're overkill, but if Cantor tells you to do something, you do it. You have destroyed the last operator. Reactor interference is affecting the telephone. I cannot safely accept. Proceed toward the surface. I need to acquire a clear log on your position. Okay. Oh, the holic. All right. Um, he, he doesn't know where to go. Oh, right, here we go. He's going this way. This is Overload. This is very much like Descent. Maybe Descent 2. Actually, way more like Descent 2 in a lot of ways. And again, this is made by the original developers of the Descent games. And the Descent games, back in the day when they were making these for Interplay, they were, these games were the the sort of the prequel for the Free Space series. They're supposed to be set in the same universe. Um, only separated by a few, a few centuries. But this is the Free... This is uh, from the Descent developers, and it is just like it. So... Uh, I urge you if, you, if you haven't, give it a try. The game is called Overload, and this was fun. This, this brought back memories. Definitely did. Have anyway. Have an extension to add to this. Come on in have an extension to add to this. I don't know if you know this or not, but this game supports VR. I've played this in VR. You know what? I haven't tried that. It is really good. Actually, I don't have this on Steam. Um. Um. Uh, that's that's what's that? The good old games version. This I got free for being an Amazon Prime member. If you launch it through Steam, there might be a way to start it with VR enabled. Mm. 
that I can tr that I can try because I have played this game in VR and it's crazy fun. Especially okay. with, I mean, with the especially with the vibe, with the colors are darker. Mm -hmm. It's really, really good. I had been meaning to come back to this and talk to you. I didn't. I, I had forgotten about this until I heard this. Until I realized what you were playing, and I had been meaning to come back to you with us trying to multiplayer this in VR. Okay. If I, if that won't work, um, I know that there are VR games that that are you can get off of other platforms that aren't with steam and will still work through steam vr yeah well, so, if, if it's it, it might need a, it just just might need a command line option that's all it might need to get it to load its vr library yes um if it doesn't do that or if it then, detects it's running when it starts yeah or if it did yeah you know, if it detects that it's running when it starts but this game does support vr i don't know maybe the release i i find it odd that if it can and then this version doesn't include it it could be a different binary it's something to look into yeah but it might be startable in V. I mean, it is on mine, so that's part of the game. So it might have what it's needed. It just might not. If it can't find the headset, it just doesn't try any further. Because yeah. it might just need the software running for it to detect a working well, line. I would, if if it doesn't detect it, I would have to get the Steam version. We would we would have to try it. But assuming for the moment that it does work and that you mm -hmm. can get it to work, this is a fun game to play in VR. Oh, yeah. And you and... want to talk about? You want to talk about head rolling? All the dipping and looping and stuff. And now it still uses it still uses the gamepad. Um, it? control interface is the same. Okay. I think you can map even if you want to. I think you can even map Potos to it. Okay. Um, but you can also play it the same. The controls don't change. Because yeah, when we played the original Descent games, we actually we played Descent One. We didn't ever. We just played Descent One. We I, didn't. We played play... a little of Descent Three, I want to say, or one of the other Descent games we played, and that was not in VR. That was just. Not that was so. Uh, that was a um. That was a game that they released much later. Yeah, it was a it was a different thing entirely. We played that, and it was actually pretty fun. Oh, that was fun. Yes, it was. Descent Three was was a good one. Um, but we played the hell out of Descent One. Oh yeah. We connected two computers via a serial port <laughs> yeah, in order to do that days. back in the days. So this was back in MS DOS days, back when Windows Three One was still a thing. I mean, this was before Windows 95. Mm -hmm. But um, Descent 1's a fun game. Um, I think there is a 3D accelerated version of that that somebody has made. Uh, it was specifically for very different graphics card. I knew there was some... I think we had one that could do it. Yes, there was one I remember was, playing it accelerated at one I point. I think it was for 3D Rage cards. 3D, 3D Rage or 3D FX. Yeah. one of those it was it was in that era yeah i know that there may have been one that used glide for 3d effects i think that's the one that had i i don't and remember and sure. i know there was one that was bundled with a 3d rage card and uh one of their, one it, of the so I ati probably, rage cards and yeah. it just did uh accelerate that was a dos game also yeah but um yeah but this one does support vr and i've always wanted to come back and play it with you because I've always wanted to see how that would be in 3D. This I've whole that, that would be epic. this whole UI looks like it would be designed for for. You can see the way it's it's molded with an angular thing. It's rounded. That's very typical of games that have VR in their sort of makeup mm -hmm. to give that in front of you look look more natural. Yep. Because it looks it looks normal when you're looking at it in VR. So it's just like it's just floating in front of you. This has very VR feel. So I think it probably would work. You just need to turn it on with it. Yes. Um, but it's I've tried it in VR, and I can tell you right now, especially with the with the with not the index, but the um, um it, the H the vibe itself, not yes. not, not the index, the vibe. Yeah. Where you have those darker darker black. It has the OLED screens for that's why I, that's why I went to eBay to get the vibe instead of saving up for an yeah, index because what playing this game with the valve with the with the, with the vibes darker blacks yeah you can see those really fine details it's super dark and it makes this game super creepy because mm -hmm. you just you can just see oh, yeah. tiny little details that a grace a, a mm -hmm. index would murder oh yeah because uh because you would see that that gray glow mm -hmm. and it would just kill it 
in from the L that you see with L C D screens. Every L C D has them. Mm -hmm. Uh except for ones that do you know um except for ones that have micro LEDs behind them where mm -hmm. they only light certain areas of the screen. Yeah, you would need a better quality. You would need headset. something like that. Or or you would need an ad set with OLED. But having that darker display for this though is fantastic. Yes. Because you have those deep plaques and everything has that more solid look. Mm -hmm. It really feels like you're sitting in there. And especially when you I think you, I think it has the cockpit thing. It kinda has to with that mode. Yes. You have that interior look. I, I don't remember exactly. I think it did. I, I kind of go back and play it again. It's been a long time since I've messed up. But it's a game that I always meant to come back and talk to you about. And I just, it's in my library and I just forgot about it. I'll have to try. Oh, I know why. The time you didn't have one. Oh, that's right. I that's didn't have one. Because I was like, this would be cool to play with Mike. Then I got the Windows Mixed Reality headset that Samsung Odyssey. We could have tried it with that. Yeah, I just never. And that's I didn't also think about OLED. It that, that that is also an OLED screen. I just didn't think of it. After. And then I got the HTC Vive. Um, later on, I was able to get that because of the uh, the stimulus check. So, I at had some point, maybe that. we can do a video of that, us. That, yeah, used. Maybe we can do a video of us um, rolling around in this thing. In VR. In, in, in VR. Yeah. I just I didn't mean to interrupt everything you were doing there, but I, when I saw that, I'm like, oh, I have got to say something about this. You can make that a future video. Yeah. All right. On this. I'm out. All right, folks. So this was Overload by the original developers of Descent. And as Tiger reminded me, this also supports VR, which I will tinker around with later. I will see if this version I didn't pay for this version. I got it free for having Twitch for our Amazon Prime. Um, and you might be able to get it for free if you have Amazon Prime, if they offer it again. Uh, I know this is not very expensive on Steam. I think it's like $19 on the Steam. But uh, try it out. I mean, I, for me, this is great nostalgia because this was one of the first really big 3D games I actually played. I mean, it was just absolutely incredible. The experience that I had with the original, with the original Descent. Anyway, I have been Mike the Zorch. This is inspiring indeed. If you like this video, click the subscribe button and make sure to click the bell icon. Also, don't forget we are associated with Gamers Bay and so I post things in the Gamers Bay community on MeWe. MeWe is a social media platform that does not sell your data, does not run ads, and they also do not censor. So, oh, I will be back with another video with another great indie game and i will also do a follow-up on this if we can get this to work in vr get this version to work in vr we'll do a follow-up with me and tiger just basically blowing the crap out of each other in virtual reality like we used to do back when we connected two computers with a serial cable i'll see you then